All right, dudes and dudettes. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the most notorious prank channels on YouTube called JayStation. And if you don't know who JayStation is or what JayStation does, he's basically some guy who's known for clickbaiting anything and everything for content to upload to his YouTube channel. Like for instance, last year in June when XXXTentacion, rest in peace, passed away, he used X's death as clickbait by saying that he came into contact with X's spirit by using a Ouija board. We're gonna use the Ouija board to contact XXXTentacion. Yo, that's X's name. What do you mean? What's that's his name? That's X's name. Like his real name? What the frick? Guys, what the hell? Yo. He also did the same for the rapper Mac Miller's death and most recently, Etika, after he passed away. Today we actually got a memorial set up of Mac Miller. We got some candles. We're gonna light it up right now, guys. Today we're going to do an EVP session. Hopefully we can make contact with Mac Miller tonight, guys. I know, it's absolutely revolting. And he obviously is a complete dickhead for posting videos like that. Some other examples of his past videos are calling Jesus on FaceTime at 3 a.m., even though that man's been dead for like 2,000 years, ordering gay potion from the dark web at 3 a.m., and as you can see in the thumbnail, some guy with lipstick on getting ready to kiss Jay Station. And last but not least, I'm gay... I was about to say gay station. <laughs> I'm Jay Station, finally drinking the gay potion. And in the thumbnail, you, you can clearly see the before and after effect. Before drinking the potion and after drinking the potion. I didn't know a gay potion could put makeup on your face, lipstick on your lips, and uh, nail polish on your nails. Pretty interesting. Share some of that with me. No, I'm just kidding. Where am I? And oh yeah, there is this one video that he uploaded called we bought a child off of the dark web and in the thumbnail the kid looks absolutely crazy but i'm pretty sure since this is a j station video and that he always clickbaits that this child is not the actual child nonetheless seeing that just makes me not want to have a kid at all but in today's video what sparked me to make a video about j station is this video that he just uploaded titled we bought a furry off the dark web and he was insane <laughs> And obviously, as we can all see here, he's got that classic all caps title where I assume the viewer is supposed to be yelling aloud as they're reading the title like, We bought a furry off the dark web and he was insane! Scary! Something like that. I, did I do that right? Am I supposed to read all his titles like that? I, I mean, that's what all caps are for, are they not? But yeah, so apparently according to Jay, you can actually purchase a furry off the dark web, which is something I honestly did not know, but hey, I'm pretty sure you can buy almost anything off the dark web, given that in one of his most recent videos, he claims to have bought a slave. Yeah, like an American slave from like 400 years ago. Directly from Zimbabwe at birth. This slave is very well trained at manual labor and will not resist your commands requires little to no food or sleep, will work for days on end without sleeping. Are you serious? You're torturing these people. Now, obviously that's not possible because as far as I know, we don't have time travel machines and or anti-aging serums that would be able to keep someone alive for that long. But hey, you never know. It's entirely possible that some way, somehow J Station found some secret technology on the dark web that has allowed him to accomplish such a task. But anyways, uh, let's just... Let's just get into this video. If you guys have no idea what furries are, basically they are weirdos, guys. They dress up as animals, they think they're animals, and I heard they even kiss each other, guys. Furries are attracted to other furries. They actually love each other. They think they're actually an animal, guys. They identify as furries. They're not people, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Bro, slow down there. Now, as much as I am not a fan of furries, and I think that most furries are weird, because let's face it, people who are willing to subject themselves to their own personal hot ass fortress with no fresh air, recycled air that smells like straight ass, and poo and pee bag installations that allow you to use the bathroom in your own suits are all obviously damaged from either their childhoods, abusive trauma, failed relationships, and much, much more. But even though all of that may be the case, I I'm still not gonna sit here and say that they aren't people like, <laughs> dude. Now that is just going too far. Too far, my man. Actually ordered this furry called Furious Girth Tail. He is this weird green and white furry and he looks scary, guys. Oh yeah, scary stuff, bro. Looks like the thing of my nightmares. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna get any sleep tonight. I'm terrified. All the furries on the dark web had these crazy names like Bronze Dog Brave Paw, Small Face Dapper Teeth, and Morning Bat False Teeth, guys. What kind of names 
are these? The kinds of names you could give your grandma Betty if she ever decided to become a furry. You know, I'm kind of thinking Morning Bat False Teeth would be the perfect name for an old ass grandma furry suffering with hip pain and Alzheimer's. Now in the next segment of the video, Jay Station begins to ask the furry what he's doing and who he is. And the furry says, he's Furious Girth Tail. And then something totally unexpected happens. And it's actually the whole reason for why I even decided to talk about this in the first place. But yeah, Jay Station then proceeds to ask the furry why his name is Furious Girth Tail. And well, this happens. You're Furious Girth Tail? Why do they call you that? Why? Look at this. What? Yes, what? What? And keep in mind that this is a kids channel. Just to be clear, J Station's audience is probably made up of 3% adults who are going through a midlife crisis, 7% of teenagers who get bullied in high school, and 90% little kids who all received an iPhone in the hospital while their moms were in the middle of giving birth to them. Like, shit's out here getting too real, man. Huh? But anyways, let's continue. You know, I can only imagine being a parent and just randomly walking into my son's room without knocking and I see him sitting in front of his computer screen with his headphones on and his shirt off. I start to chuckle <laughs> because I was once a kid and we've all been there, you know? And so I slowly walk up to the computer so he can't hear me, fully expecting him to be on Cornhub or YouTube or whatever they have in the future. But as I'm coming closer to the computer and the computer screen is slowly coming into my peripheral vision, I see the YouTube logo to my shock and surprise because I obviously expected him to be on a whole different ass website. But as I get closer and closer and his big ass head is blocking the computer screen less and less, I start to see what appears to be a person in a green and white suit, but think nothing of it. Because hey, it's probably just some innocent random video on YouTube, right? Until I get even closer and closer and now my view is totally clear. I made it past his big ass mass of a head that he got from his mom and I finally now see what he sees. And I see some dude crouched down to the floor with his back arched and head up, getting ready to sniff some other dude dressed up in a furry suit's butt. At this point, after having seen what my poor child just watched, I would have smacked the headphones right off his head, told him to put a shirt on, get his hands out of his pants, then proceed to rip his computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse, all that shit, and toss that shit straight through the window. Like as a father who loves his child, I, I honestly would rather have him watching hentai, weeb anime lolai, two girls, one cup, any of that weird ass shit. Just anything besides this. Because this is just... It's a disgrace. But anyways, in the next scene, it looks like Jay Station was mortified and truly disgusted, even though he was probably just acting like that because on the inside, he was low-key enjoying that shit. And then the furry, as per their script, started forcing Jay Station to take another whiff of his... No! No, 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 Oh my god, Jay, do you Like, honestly, this is just sad how a kid's channel is out here making content like this for his viewers when he damn well knows that the majority of them are still learning to walk, talk, and tie their shoes. Like, my man Jay Station is really out here not giving no fucks at all. And it's pretty wild how parents actually let their children watch this stuff. That should clearly be on one of those obscure, specialized fetish websites. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, those are laughs of fear. Let me know what you guys think about J Station being out here sniffing furry butts, because I honestly need to know what all your thoughts are down below. And with that being said, you already know who it is. And I'll see you random individuals on the internet who I've never met before, but still for some reason like to watch my videos in the next one.